Hello and welcome to NGS Education, an engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in engineering. I'm your host Ahmed Shweb and today I'm going to discuss about decibel, a comparable unit of measurement in signal processing. Now what is decibel? I will discuss decibel in very common term because I know many of the beginners really struggle with this concept of measurement. Now what is decibel? Again, Imagine you work in a company, you join to a company as a graduate engineer and your wages is 30k which is fair amount of wages for a new beginner. Now after one year of employment you want the wages increase, you want the wages to be 33k. So basically you want 10% rise after one year of employment. Now in signal processing it, it, it will calculate it in terms of decibel. So the way you would calculate is, is 10 log your expected total wages, which is 33k divided by 30 your current wages. So 10 log 33 divided by 30k equal 0.4 decibel. Now in five in next five years you want your wages to be double, which is uh, 60k you want your demanding 60k of wages. So in signal processing, again, in decibel, you would calculate it as 10 log 60, your expected total wages, divided by your current wages, 30. That would be y and that would be 6 dBk. So 6 decibel and k at the end, uh, whatever the unit. It same goes for voltage and power. But in this case, there are two formulas. Now, for calculating decibel, there are two formulas. One is power ratio and one is amplitude ratio. Now I will discuss power ratio formula first. So in power ratio, this is the simplest one, which is I already discussed, that is 10 log 10 power 2 divided by the reference power, then dBw, dB watt. So 10 log 10 power 2 divided by power 1 dB watt. Now the second formula is for amplitude ratio. So the power ratio is used for calculating power and amplitude ratio is used for calculating voltage and other form of signals which is based on its amplitude. The difference is this time it will be square. It will be 10 log 10 voltage 2 square divided by voltage 1 square dB volt. If we, if we simplify this equation, that's going to be 10 log 10 V2 by V1 square dB volt, which can be more simplified by taking the square 2 at the front, multiplying with 10 at the front. That will be 20 log 10 V2 by V1 dB. In this case, no square. As you can see, right hand side of the screen, I got a short from Wikipedia. This is really explanatory. Here you can see the first column mentions all the decibels. The second one mentions power ratio and the third one mentions amplitude ratio. So you can see zero decibel in power ratio is one watt and amplitude ratio is one as well. But things changes. Obviously it is all based on these calculation using the two formulas. For power ratio, when the power ratio is double, then it is 3 decibel. 6 decibel is like 4 times in power ratio. On the other hand, in amplitude ratio, it is 2 times. When there is 10 dB increase, the power ratio is 10. But in amplitude ratio, it is just a more, just little more than 3. For 20 decibel is 100 power ratio and amplitude ratio is 31.62. You can just use your calculator. So basically, when you use your calculator, you can you can uh, do the calculation is like uh, 10 log uh, 60 divided by 30. So that is 2. 10 log, 10 log 2 is 3 decibel. On the other hand, 20 log 2 would be 1.4 decibel. 
Decibel scale is really handy because with decibel scale you can uh, visualize large number contrast. Uh, for instance, you want to visualize something like uh, you want to compare two different gra two two different magnitude. One is ten and one is billion. So how do you visualize same magnitude, same two magnitude in one graph? Uh, one is billion and one is ten. You do it by decibel, which is really easy. As you can see at the screen, there are three stages of amplification. This is a uh, this is a simscape model. Um, I just created it. Uh, basically, here I connected uh, three differential amplifier. Um, all of them has got 10 times amplification. I have connected them in series. So basically what happened is that first time it gets the signal of 1 volt, then it amplifies it 10 times, then uh, that um, amplitude, then that amplification has got amplified further 10 times at second stage and at third stage it gets uh, further amplified uh, in 10 times as well. Uh, the resulting is that uh, this graph, in the, you know, in this graph, um, as you can see, left hand side, uh, it's in magnitude scale. There is no use of decibel. These are sine waves. As you can see, the signal, when it is amplified, it gets uh, inverted. This is the inverting amplifier. So in this uh, inversion, as you can see, um, the sine wave, the first, there are three signals I have visualized. And they got a uh, very big gap between them. They are like um, 1,000 times amplification. So the first signal, uh, as you can see, you, you can see barely. The second signal is purple color. No, the purple color is that input signal, uh, and the first signal is in yellow color. So, um, can you distinguish between uh, the two lines? But there is like 10 times amplification. Uh, the reason is that uh, the computer graphics want to visualize uh, all in, in the same, same graph. So, basically, 1000 uh, sine wave amplitude and uh, um, 10 sine wave amplitude is really difficult to visualize even for the computer graphics. Now, on the other hand, uh, as you can see right inside, the same amplifications, uh, the same th three signals, three stages of amplification I have visualized in decibel scale, which is really easy to visualize. So the purple color is obviously the input signal and yellow is that first stages of amplification which is 20 decibel and uh, second one is 40 decibel second stages of amplification and uh, third one is 60 stages of amplification so this is really handy for signal processing and uh, in general in complex math complex number fluctuations the contrast where there, the, where there is extreme contrast between input and output so you use decibel this is handy for um, visualizing and calculating as well. Now, how is it related with human hearing? Decibel has got connection with human hearing because uh, the intensity of sound, our sense of intensity of sound is more closely related to decibel than the magnitude scale. So, you know, the unit of the sound in power, we can, we can, cal we can calculate sound in power, which will be what now uh, you get uh, at certain pressure pressure you get 10 watt of sound then you get 20 watt of sound you get 30 watt of sound so you would assume that you would feel on that way so if there is 10 watt sound and that increases to 20 watt so your sense of intensity would not would not be linear with that increase of the scale in magnitude but when it comes to decibel, it, it is like more related. Yeah, so if there is zero decibel, which, which is like absolute pin drop, silent. Now, um, as you increase from this chart, as you can see, decibel uh, hearing, 10 decibel is that human heart sound. Now, 20 decibel is dry leaf cracking, and 30 decibel is like whisper. Not, not much of a sound. So 40 decibel is your refrigerator, 50 decibel is your moderate rainfall, then as it goes 60 decibel conversation, 70 decibel your car sound, and 80 decibel the truck sound, 90 decibel hair dryer, 100 decibel helicopter sound, um, 110 decibel is trampoline sound. Now uh, all of this uh, is very very easy to compare with human sense 
of sound intensity rather than magnetic scale uh, in decibel scale uh, it is more uh, correctly resembled so all the acoustic engineers uh, when they design some audio equipment uh, they measure things in decibel rather than the magnitude hmm. so the irony is uh, our human hardware our human body we feel things in decibel but our brain things in magnitude how irony is it now uh, well guys uh, that's all for today i need your help uh, please 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 uh, click subscribe and share i will see you at next time cheers bye